The proposition from Techno here remains the same. A flip device that gives you a slim form factor, decent performance, a decent battery life, and all this without digging a hole in your pocket. But for $650 and after 3 months of using the smartphone, do I still think this is worth the money? Without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. Now this is Techno's first attempt at this form factor and they did a whole lot of things right. By the way, if you still need to know what comes in the box with this smartphone, you get a thoughtful selection of accessories that enhance your overall smartphone experience. A high quality protective case which is well designed, a 45 watt charger, a USB A to C connector and some nice looking Techno stickers. Now to the case here, I noticed quite a few things about this one. Aside the fact that you get an extra layer of protection with this case on the smartphone here which is actually made out of a leather like plastic. It also does complement this design, prevents bumps and scratches and I also did notice some little annoying quirks with this case. First off, the fact that it most times did slide freely and wasn't always snug on this chassis. Secondly, what you might think makes this a great kind of case, the fact that it has this wonderful feel when you touch it might be a problem for you because this smartphone easily attracts dirt and it's quite difficult to get it clean. And also that depends on the color of the case you get. And I couldn't find where to get replacement cases, but if I find any, I'll have it linked in the description box below. Now, one of the first things you notice is the unusually long form factor here, which sets it apart from conventional smartphones. The large bezels here give it a distinctive look, and the hinge that allows this device to flip and fold is exceptionally sturdy. And you can freely hold this at any angle you desire. For some, this feature is a plus, since they can achieve any angle, but again, would you actually use your device in these awkward angles? Except you know about the free cam feature Techno gives you here. This is a feature where you can use your smartphone as a tripod to take photos on any surface, just like you would with a mini tripod without the actual need for one in this mode. Now you can record videos and do a whole lot more of camera activities using the V-Flip when you have this free cam mode or fold this device at different awkward angles. The build quality is what you should expect from this form factor and after using this device for this long time, the keyword here is, just like with the competition out there, you have to be careful with how you handle the smartphone. Despite its tall stature, this device is surprisingly comfortable to hold all thanks to the design here and this nice feeling case. Now one issue I have with this design is the placement of this hinge component here or the fact that it protrudes a little. This is a personal issue and a lot of people won't face this but I think I should point it out. I use gesture navigation as a lot of you guys do with Android devices and I also swipe from the right to go back. And because of this protruding hinge here, it seems to obstruct my thumb whenever I try to go back. The problem is going lower isn't something my brain is willing to learn and it's not just comfortable for me. This keeps getting in the way for me every now and then but other people I talk to don't seem to have this problem so it's just a me thing. So for me, this seems to be one of the best phone devices I have used this year and that's in terms of the feel and the design with the smartphone. This is an easy smartphone to pocket and you wouldn't really feel like you have a huge smartphone sitting somewhere in your pocket. It's quite stealth. Now when it comes to entertainment with the Phantom V Flip, I realized I had a pattern of always playing audio over the headphone or earbuds. Now this is not to say you don't get audio playing from the speakers here but this isn't the best sounding audio or speaker you would get from a smartphone. Of course you get decent listening experience with this one but like I said it isn't the best you would come across. While it might not have the most powerful speakers out there, they are adequate for everyday use. Now here's a comparison with the Phantom Z Fold and there's a clear difference here. <laughs> I haven't had any issues so far when it comes to the call quality with the smartphone. You get a clear sound on the other side of the phone. In fact, here's what it sounds like from the microphone and also do let me know what you think about the audio quality. This is the sound you'd hear over a phone call, so I'd love for you guys to tell me what you think about the sound quality, the clarity and the sound in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Before I talk about the main display here, let's talk about the front facing display, the circular one on the smartphone. You have a 1.3 inch 60Hz display and Techno dubs this planet cover. On this display, you'd find various quick access widgets such as the music controls, the calendar, the camera app. And did I think I'd build a habit of controlling my music or the media using this front display here? 
I never thought of that at all. I also realized that this has become my go-to when it came to controlling music playback and media on the smartphone. Now, one thing is that you do not realize how much you get to use a particular feature on a device till you switch over to another device. And when I switched over to other devices, I always wanted to have that feature where I controlled my media music using a front display. There's also a cover screen collection menu that adds versatility to this device, but there are just few fixed widgets out there. I wish we could have the option to throw on whatever application we wanted on this front screen, but also this is a circular display, meaning most apps are not going to fit into this circular smartwatch-like display. So for now, we're stuck with what techno sticks up in the widget area for this display. Also, there are some cute pets that deliver your notifications to give you a personalized touch to your screen. There is no doubt that in a world where you get bigger display for the front cover screens on foldable devices or flip devices like this, this 60Hz panel feels a little bit dated, especially for this form factor. But we can cut Techno some slack here because this is their first attempt at building something like this. And also, at a fraction of the cost, other brands would give you a flip device. Of course, I would have loved to see a bigger front panel here, but this is what you get. Also, there isn't a true always on display feature for this front panel. You always have to shake this device or double tap this display to get this front panel to wake up. Now, over to the main display here, which is a 6.9 inch display, you get a visually stunning and immersive experience. This foldable smartphone boasts of a 1080 by 2640 resolution screen here for the main display. And this also offers you 120 hz refresh rate. Well, from 10 to 120 hz, which would help you preserve your power. And this is also an AMOLED display. This high refresh rate here ensures that every swipe and scroll feels incredibly fluid, making interactions with this device feel more responsive and enjoyable. I haven't had anything to complain about so far as far as the main display on this smartphone is concerned. This main display also features a high brightness mode, in fact, a thousand nits of brightness, which comes in handy when you use the smartphone outdoors. This might not be the brightest smartphone you can use outdoors, but it's better than a lot of mid-range devices out there. This means that you wouldn't have to always struggle when you use the smartphone outdoors or when it's bright outside. Now, I know what most people are waiting for us to discuss, and that would be the crease on this display, right? Genuinely, you can feel the crease here, but isn't that the case with other brands here? While the crease is noticeable to the touch, it doesn't detract significantly from the overall experience and you quickly adapt to it. In fact, I found that this crease wasn't that visible as with other bigger brands you find out there. Under the hood, the Techno Phantom V Flip is powered by the Dimensity 8050 chipset, ensuring smooth performance and quick app launches. With 8 gigs of RAM and a whooping 256 gigs of internal storage, this device offers ample space for all your apps, games, photos, and videos. Now, this might not be the most powerful chipset out there, but it is quite great for what it is. And running on Android 13 here, the Techno Phantom V Flip provides access to the latest Android features and updates. You will appreciate the fluidity and user-friendly interface that Android 13 offers on the smartphone. Although you get a custom skin of Android 13 known as HiOS from Techno on the smartphone. Now, there are a few things I've come to love about this device, like swiping up with your three fingers to minimize an app into a floating window or folding the smartphone to get apps like YouTube play their video at the top side of the screen while giving you the media controls to the bottom side of this display. As far as the updates here, I can't confidently confirm getting an update to Android 14, but that would be one of the features that would attract prospective buyers to this device. Now, nobody would want to shill out that amount of money, $650 for a smartphone. I wouldn't expect to get an update at the end of the day. I definitely would keep you guys updated concerning this issue and that's the reason you should follow me on my Instagram at Oscar Frankie to keep up with the updates and also do not forget to subscribe if you're loving this video so far. Now moving over to the cameras here the Techno Phantom V Flip boasts an impressive setup. You get a 32 megapixel front-facing camera that ensures you get selfies that are crystal clear also with an LED flash. While the dual 64 megapixel rear cameras deliver stunning results in various lighting conditions. Now, the addition of features like free cam mode, where you can partially flip this device to get a unique um, angle while taking pictures, adds a creative touch to your photography experience with the Techno Phantom V Flip. Plus, you can take selfies using the rear cameras on the smartphone, all thanks to the outer display, which gives you a preview of what you capture with this lens. While taking photos of others, they can also use the outer display as their preview monitor to see what they look like before you hit that shutter button. The photos taken with the main camera in good lighting are quite, you know, good, but the ultra wide camera isn't the best even with the same amount of light. In fact, here are some photos taken with the smartphone. 
And you guys should let me know what you think about those photos. So for the selfies, I honestly do not see the actual need to use the 32 megapixel sensor when you can use the main camera here for your selfies. The only time you find me using the selfie camera would be when I'm having some video chats with applications. But other than that, always default to the rear cameras as my main selfie camera. Obviously, these are not flagship level photos, but for the price you pay, these are great, especially when you provide good lighting for the cameras. Now, battery life seems to be a challenge for this form factor, especially considering the fact that this device is full and you can't provide a huge slab of battery here. You have to divide it into or have a smaller battery on one side of this device. With a 4000 mAh battery, the Techno Phantom V Flip offers decent battery life that should comfortably get you through a full day of use if you're an average user. But for power users like myself, unfortunately, you find yourself running to the nearest charging outlet before 5 p.m. Now, you have support for fast charging with a 45 watt charger you get from within the box, so you can quickly top up the battery on this device, which rises from zero to 50% in about 15 minutes. And it takes about 45 minutes to get this device from zero to 100. In conclusion, the Techno Phantom V Flip is a unique and innovative smartphone that pushes the boundaries of design and functionality. But the key word here is at an affordable price. Could we get a better software experience? Yes, I think so. Could we get a better camera? Of course, I'm all for that. But do I think this is worth considering, especially if you want to play with this form factor, you just want to test it out and also get the benefit of a small footprint device that can even go into your front pocket? Yeah, you apparently you get mostly what you pay for. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and you can check out my review of the Techno Phantom Z Fold here. Cuidati.